both her and her husband, okay, and um, they had to move to go someplace out west or where in the hell they went. Can't even remember where they went. And I says, oh, really? And they said, yeah. And I says, oh, okay, well, I hope all goes well with these guys. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm getting you know? complaint after complaint and I'm having the police um, constantly lying and having locals and the police complain about me and my father keeps on following me and calling me around and backing this up. Right? Well, that's news to me. Yeah. Renee, come on, your dad's not gonna cause problems. I already have, I already work. have a text, I already have proof from my old dispatcher from operating crane that my father called my workplace back then. And since then he hasn't stopped. And I just told you he flew in and was in Alberta at my workplace with Trevor. So he already did and he hasn't stopped everywhere I go. Well, I'll, I'll straighten this out. You're not gonna straighten anything. He lies to you. He never, you were at Christmas by yourself. Open your fucking eyes. He was doing something better on Christmas and left you by yourself. He was working. Yeah, exactly. I working, not this. with you. On fucking Christmas. Who fucking works on Christmas? Nobody. That's not true. Use your fucking brain. Well, I'm going to... I will check into it. I promise you. And do what? He's just going to lie to you. Well, he's not going to lie to you. He me, wants nothing to do with you. You spent Christmas alone. Use your fucking brain. I'm almost crippled because of that fucking piece of shit. He's working with the police to fucking cripple me. He's calling me a fucking pedophile. People are complaining. Why is he calling you a pedophile? That's Why is everyone calling me a fucking pedophile? Why? I do not call you that. Yeah, well, you fucking tried to set me up for one. What? No. And Curtis, the play of the fucking kid. Oh, come on, Renee. I... I had I what? I, just, I what? He was playing basketball by himself. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Those people I followed me. Those people, him. those people followed me and met me up at Tim Hortons and fucking never looked at me, thought I was a fucking monster. People are treating me like a fucking monster. I've ran across well, four I am not provinces. You like a monster. Four provinces I fucking ran across now. Living in my car for almost eight years. Trying to be out of debt free. Figure trying to figure out what's going on. Jenny told me, Jenny, when I'm 27, told me to get away from you guys. She fucking told me. Her family, her parents had to get security cameras after fucking dating me. Because people will, because homeless people and street people, your 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 people, the Metis and the Hells Angels, were fucking mobbing them and vandalizing their place. They had to get security cameras. I didn't know what was going on then. The girl I dated, I didn't know the girl, I, the girl I dated out, the me. girl I dated out in, in Alberta, told me what was going on. Renee, I am not causing you grief and causing you. You're trouble. a drug dealer. I, I never said that. You're a drug dealer. You hurt people. You're a bad person. Are you are you saying that I'm that? You wonder why your teeth are bad. Maybe you should My lock. My teeth are not bad. I went to the dentist and they said I'm taking very, very, very good care of How my long, teeth. how many years have your teeth been fucked up? You've been stockpiling all the fucking toothbrush and the toothpaste and you being uh, banned from places in Oshawa. Maybe you should keep it away from your husband. There's no problems with my teeth. You've had problems with your teeth for I don't know how many years, no. right? No. Oh, I went to yeah, Canada right. College. I'm a, I'm a patient there at Canada College. And I'm also got a dentist here in North Bay at the uh, Northgate Square upstairs. Mom, like 10, 15 um, years my ago. My teeth are immaculate. 10, 15 years ago, your teeth were fucking failing you. What are you talking about? You were always paranoid, having all these problems and going to the dentist, this and that, but your husband would pay for it all. I don't have any problems with my teeth. I swear you to did. God. You did. 